Hey guys, what's up? I want to show you guys uh, today how to play uh, After Hours by The Weeknd. Um, it's a few chords, I think it's only about like three or four. Um, and they're all bar chords, really great bar chord practice. Um, and so I'll teach you guys how to play the standard chord formation and then I'll show you guys how to play it on the um, kind of the cheat way of doing it. It still ends up sounding pretty much the same, um, but you're just not having to use, you know, bar chord, um, you know, kind of form. Uh, to you guys that are watching the videos and the guys that have subscribed, I do appreciate a whole bunch. I'm trying to put more tutorials and more lessons out. I'm just starting to find a little bit more of uh, time and space, and so that's a very good thing. And so that puts me you know, in a spot where I'm able to kind of, you know, put more time into, you know, being able to put into teaching you guys some stuff, which is full circle. This is how I learned how to play guitar. It was, you know, through watching YouTube videos, and so it's, it, it feels good. All right, guys, and so without further ado, the first chord we're going to want to do is going to be C minor, and so that's going to be barred third fret all the way across A to high E, and then the uh, ring finger is going to go on uh, fifth fret A string, pinky finger is going to go on, uh, well, I'm sorry, ring finger is going to go on fifth fret D string, pinky finger is going to go on fifth fret G string, and then your middle finger will go on fourth fret B string. So everything all together will go like. Okay. And then the second chord is going to be G minor. It's going to still be third fret barred, but you're going to go from high, uh, low E all the way to high E. And then your ring finger is going to go on uh, fifth fret A string. And then your pinky finger is going to go on fifth fret D string. And so it'll go something like. And then the third chord is going to be F minor. Um, now with this song, it might just be easier to you know use a capo. Um, you can put it on your you know your third the third fret or the yeah you put it on the third fret and I think you're then you all you're left with are just open chords to play with, but. Um, in the long run, learning bar chords is definitely more valuable. Um, I'm in, plus I don't have a capo right now, and so appreciate um, you know that if you guys are wanting to go the high road and um, you know learn it with me here, and I'm going to show you guys how to play a manner that's uh, going to be a little bit of a cheat way around bar chords too. Um, but this F minor right here is going to be a bar all the way across the first fret, and then same formation as G minor, just move it. Uh, down two frets, so it'll be Okay <clears throat> So uh, the first part of the song is pretty you know mellow very kind of slow pretty much. It's just And then back to G minor okay um <clears throat> and then when it goes to like the like minute it, that, that, that's pretty much the song for like the first like almost quarter of it it's kind of a long song but at minute like 230 or so um that's when the um beat starts to kind of kick in and you know, that's when you start getting like, you know, more of the drums on. And so that's where you can get a little bit more of a percussive strum pattern. This is how I play. All the chords are in the same order, by the way. So you don't change anything about that, but you just change the strum pattern that goes with it. So it goes. Um... Apologies that I just realized that instead of going back to G minor after the F minor, you're going back to C minor. So it really is C minor, G minor, F minor, C minor. So it goes around in that kind of circle. So, yep. <clears throat> so when the B kicks in, it goes 
And oh baby, where are you now when I need you most? I'll give it all just to hold you close. Sorry that I broke your heart, your heart. Now the cheat way around that, these chords, is going to be um, just take your uh, pointer finger and uh, totally leave out the root note. So instead of having your finger on the third fret of the A string, just use the pinky and ring finger and put it on the strings that they were supposed to be on. Same thing with your, um, same thing with your uh, middle finger and just put your uh, pointer finger on the first string on the high on the high string so it'll still be and try to use your thumb if you can to mute out the other low strings so it should sound like okay and this is how it would be with the G minor F minor. Okay, so that way it'd be. It's a nice groovy track. I'm really excited for the new album that's going to be coming out soon. Um, if you guys enjoyed it or if it helped you out in learning it, um, let me know. Um, if you, you need some you know, more explanation or want to message me. Um, I've been playing guitar for like 10 years, self-taught, all through like YouTube and Ultimate Guitar tabs and chords and stuff. And so um, I appreciate a bunch, guys, and I hope you guys all take care. And have a great rest of your day. Peace.